if you had to rate businesses in general, what would you rate businesses as follow-up? Would you, anybody give businesses a, an A? Probably what, a C or a D? Well, what I'm just encouraging you to do is be really, really good with your follow-up. Now, I'm a big systems guy. I'm a really, really big systems guy. I put a process together for everything. You need to have a really good process for your follow-up. I'm old school. I like handwritten thank you cards. I like phone calls. That's just me. Some people like text messaging or emails. I, I don't know what's the right thing, but whatever you feel comfortable with, I think is right for you. I'd rather leave a phone message than a text message or an email. So when you're thinking about your follow-up that you're doing, just think about the whole dating process. Think about just the more contacts, the better, making that person feel really warm, really special. The great thing about it, it costs absolutely nothing. Boy, ass, girl, out. And there's a couple different things that can happen, okay? One of two things that can happen. So the first thing that can happen on the date is that boy one, or the, the, the first option, is never connects, never follows up with girl again. So boy two, or option two, after the first date, on the way home, texts girl, I had a really good time tonight, smiley face. Oh, girl gets that, that was real nice, right? That was real nice. Next day, boy wakes up, boy says, I just really thinking about our date, and thanks for opening up and sharing with me last night. Girl feels, oh, my girlfriends were wrong, right? This is a really nice guy. 10 o'clock at work that day, girl gets called up to the front of the office, flowers arrive. Oh, girlfriends were really wrong on this one, right? Great follow-up that was happening. So boy number two, or the second scenario, has lots of different dates with the girl. And boy number one maybe calls the girl a month later, and girl says to herself, well, did boy have a heart attack after our date? Did boy mother have a serious illness? Or is boy just not that interested in me? Or did boy have four other dates, and those four other dates didn't turn out, and now it's a month later? and I'm the only person available, right, to do that. that. That's what we think. So we get into business, and we have a date. We go to breakfast. I'm encouraging all of us to go to breakfast with each other uh, or have a meal or get connected with each other. And if you don't follow up, what does the person think of? Boy one or boy two, right? Well, maybe I'm not the prettiest girl, maybe I wasn't the best date, maybe this isn't the right situation, and where does their self-esteem go? <clears throat> Goes really down there. So most people, most salespeople, most businesses aren't really good at their follow-up. So I have a process for our business that we have. We have a process for the financial planning where they get an email confirming their appointment, they get a call the day before, they come in for their appointment, <coughs> We send them an email afterwards. I just got a really, really good system for follow-up. You need to have your own follow-up system so it's really unique to you. Our clients all know they're gonna get an email within 24 hours of coming in to talk to us that says this is what we discussed, this is what we talked about, this is the reminders of what we've done. I'm just encouraging you to have a really good system of follow-up. If you had to rate businesses in general, what would you rate businesses as follow-up? Would you, anybody give businesses a, an A? Probably what, a C or a D? A D, right? Yeah. Yeah, we're just not that good at that. So just become really, really good at following up. That's what I'm encouraging you to do. And what I'd like you to do is just think about dating. Just think about dating. If you were dating the person, how would you conduct yourself if you were just googly over them? That you just went to bed and you couldn't stop thinking about them, you woke up and you were thinking about them, you would let that person know. Either through some sort of a phone call, a voice message at work, or a, a text message, or a card, or a, some communication that you just said, I am thinking of you, you are important to me. You know, and then there's like, oh, I feel important and there's that relationship. That's my follow-up for abundance presentation for you today.